How's it going guys? It's 10.33 on May the 29th, 2023. Me making this video. Alright guys, before I get into it, I'm going to be talking about the DJI RF3 Mini. And before I get into that, I just want to say I did a poll on Twitter and on YouTube talking about do you guys like seeing the camera stuff on the channel? Because I did a, a camera, what's in my camera bag 2022, unboxing the DJI Mini. And what's in my camera bag 2023 and i want to do more camera stuff because i love talking about cameras and stuff like that so i wanted to do more and so you guys voted for a yeses one on twitter and three on youtube so i'm going to be doing more all right guys so i'm going to be talking about this bad boy right here this bad boy right here everything about it um but before i talk about it i just want to say um one thing daily vlogs are still coming podcasts are still coming live streams are still coming but on top of all that is me talking about camera stuff because i love talking about camera stuff okay so um before i get into my opinions and stuff on it so this is the box that came in this is the box that came in right here this is the box that came in okay now before i want um before i talk about it i'm just going to say it's all ultra light so it's ultra light weight 795 grams that's how much this thing can hold is 795 grams now when you get it boom this is the tripod for it that comes with it boom i love this love it okay um, I've been testing it out, and I'm going to test out more about it soon, okay? I'm going to test out more about this. Uh, I've been testing it out because I love, I love using this. Uh, I've been testing it out because there's things I want to do on the channel with it, and there's also things I want to learn about it because I want to get into the movie business. I said it time and time again. I do. So, um, this thing is cool. I could do, um, hold on. Let me let me go on the app real quick, okay? Um, pan and tilt. It could do pan follow, FPV custom in 3D wall 360. Okay, that's all the stuff it could do on there. Okay, that is crazy. That that's stuff it can do on. Like that, that's everything this thing can do. Okay. It can do pan follow, it can do pan tilt, it can do pan FPV, whatever that is. It can do all that. All that can be done on this bad boy, on the DJI RS3 Mini, okay? Um, all that can be done on here. That's crazy, okay? And then, hold on. Okay, anywho, those are nothing. Okay, so, now... I'm going to do some pros and I'm going to do some cons. This also goes on it. This, this is where the camera goes on it like that. And then this is on, supposed to be on there. But, um, so I love this. And the reason why I got it is because I want to get into video production stuff. Because I want to do video production stuff as a full-time job. Just like YouTube, I want to also do video production stuff as a full-time job. Because I love doing YouTube and I love making videos. I love video, uh, videography and stuff like that that's like making videos and, and movies and stuff like that so um i want to do that full time but i'm doing i'm using this and i've been testing it out and it's amazing yeah i haven't done major things with it yet but i've been testing it out and everything and it's just so so good so um now um yes i have a little my m200 and love the m200 i'm gonna might make a video about this by itself on its own but it's just um one thing is so i've been doing a lot of stuff it's a test and i'm gonna still gonna test it out 
Um, it took me a while to try to figure out how to make it balance, so it's not the motors are not working really hard, and it tells me I can't use it because it's not balanced properly. So I'm gonna I need to learn how to do that. That's that's been taking me a while to learn. I still haven't learned fully how to do it properly. But the thing I'm gonna say is. Okay, so there's going to be some pros and some cons. I'm going to get into those in a little bit. But another thing I like about it is that it has Bluetooth. So I can... So it has Bluetooth. You see this button? See that word button right there? So if your camera can do, like the M200, it could do Bluetooth. Bluetooth it onto this thing right here. So when you're using this, all you have to do is hit... Hit the red button right there, bam. You can record. Good to go. You hit it when you want to record. Another thing is the joystick. I like that because you can go like this and then this whole thing can move up, down, left, right, whatever you want it, it can move. Double tap on this, this whole thing switch around, and the camera's facing in at you for vlogging, like a vlogging style. Hit it, hit it back a couple of times. It goes back, goes back this way. How this is facing now, it goes back that way. This way here, scroll wheel. You can use that for like the I O the um, I O S the ISO. You can use that for the focus. You can use that for many things. Now there's a drawback to that. Now I'm gonna now. There's a drawback to that, but I'm going to get that with the pros and the cons. So, do I recommend you guys getting this? No. Before I say what do I recommend you guys getting this, this right here, I got this one cheaper. This is cheaper, this is like 485 so it's cheaper. But, I would love to get the Pro, the DJI rs something pro because you can get like a whole a whole camera a whole like screen with it if you wanted and somebody else can hold the gimbal and you can just focus on the camera movement and everything um now do i recommend getting this yes do you really need to go out and buy it no if you want to learn how to use gimbals and stuff like that because you want to use gimbals in like for your movies and for your movies and other stuff for movies and other stuff like that yes totally go out and get it but you don't really need to go out and get it so there's that you only really need it all right so now pros and cons I'm going to get in with the pros and the cons of the DJI RS380. Now, the pros are, there's going to be a couple pros. Pros are, it's lightweight. Lightweight, easy to hold, boom. Another pro is, it's that it has Bluetooth. It has Bluetooth, you can connect it to... I can't you connect it to Bluetooth to your camera if your camera has Bluetooth and you can hit record and do all those other things I talked about with the wheel, the scroll wheel. That's another pro, okay? Um another pro is you it's easy to dismantle, you know, like take this off, boom, you could take the you could take this off, boom. Put in, put it inside your bag. You're good in your camera bag. You're good to go. Good to go to bring it to the next destination that you need to bring it to, and you don't have to like try to put it in its its own separate bag. It just can't fit in the bag that you have. Okay, that's not a pro. Okay, not a pro is it's easy to learn how to do a lot of the stuff with it. It's easy to learn it, but it might take you a while to learn. 
It might take you a couple of days to learn, a couple of months, couple of whatever, but it is easy to use. It is easy to use. It is easy to pick up, turn on, and use. Another thing I like about it is this back screen right here. This is a pro, and I forgot to say it. You can lock the screen. You can have it on pan, follow, blah, 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 how fast you want it, how slow you want it. Bam. Lock it. Boom. So just in case you accidentally hit the screen, you're not going to change something when you're using it. You're not going to change something on it. So it's going to go to pan, pan tilt. And, and it's not going to go to pan tilt and stuff like that. So that's another, that's another pro. So cons. Cons. I'm going to say cons. Now. Not all cameras, not all cameras can use the wheel. Not all cameras can use the wheel for, for example, the M200, my M200. I, I connected it with Bluetooth and I'm trying to use this so I can use, change the iOS, the ISO. Couldn't do it. it. It was not working. So I said, okay, that kind of sucks. So I switched it, tried to see if I could do the focus. No, no, couldn't do it, couldn't do it, couldn't do it. So there are so so that's a con. That's a that's a that's a huge con. That is a huge con. Oh my God, let me take a quick drink. So that's a huge con because I don't have to have to try to like okay hold on, let me turn this off, focus, change the lens to zoom out more. Or zoom in more, and I didn't like that. So there, so there's that. Um, I would love for it before I could change the ISO, but whatever. Change like how much sun come in, how much sun go, doesn't come in, stuff like that. But there's that. Um, another con in, another con. It's only seven hundred ninety-five grams. So if you want to put in higher, bigger lenses, bigger bigger cameras and bigger lenses you kind of can't because this can only hold 795 grams um another con is is this when um i think the the pro has it where um here's the button to turn off you turn it off and it locks all it locks all the um the motors and then you turn it back on it unlocks all the motors that doesn't it doesn't have that either but that's fine that's fine you know because it's lightweight so that's fine um there's there's that with that um it um another con i'm just gonna say it took me a while it's, it's still taking me a while i had to figure out how to balance it properly how to really balance it like balance it quickly and properly and stuff like that so there's that that's another con that's just a con for me because i'm still learning how to do that but you know, but the but this is such a great gimbal. Like this is such a great gimbal, and I'm still gonna learn more for it because I do want to do video production. I do want to like probably film for weddings, film commercials, film other things, and I would love to use this gimbal for that. Um, for that because I do want to do that because I want to do uh YouTube and video production full time. Like actually a full time job for both. So. That's why I got the gimbal, and that's why I am learning how to use it. But you don't need a gimbal for YouTube. You don't need a gimbal for a lot of stuff. You could do a lot of stuff by hand, by hand and stuff like that. But for me, I always wanted a gimbal because I always been in interested in video production and everything about movies and stuff like that. And I looked up how movies are made and how movies are this and movies are that, and I see a lot of them use gimbals and other big equipment and stuff like that so i do want to learn how to use the gimbal and that's why i got it but i do recommend if you guys do really 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 want to use learn how to use gimbals and you don't want to spend a thousand dollars or more on a gimbal go out and get the dji rf3 mini now one more con i'm going to say one more con i'm going to say is is this You need an app. You need to download the DJI app. And um you 
you need to download an app. So you do need to download an app to use it. And that's one of a con. That's a con for me. Um, I don't want to have to download an app to use the DJI. I wish I didn't. To use the DG, to use the, uh, the R the Ronin the RS3 Mini, I wish I didn't have to, but you had to download the Ronin app just to use the gimbal. And to me, that's a con because why can I not like I get it? It needs firmware firmware. Oh, I can't say that properly. It needs sorry guys, I can't say that properly. It needs the firmware updates, and I get that, but. Why can I not just turn on, boom, use it, done? And I don't need the app. Now, do you need now? Do you need the app all the time when you want to use it? No, you don't need it. You don't need to turn on the app all the time when you want to use it. You just turn it on and bam, start using it. But if you want to keep it up to date and all that, you do. But when you're starting to use it, it tells you to go to the app and da download the app and use the app and all that. So there's that, but I just wish I didn't have to download an app for it, but I understand, like, I do have a PC, why can't I not just go hook it up to my PC and download the firmware update from my PC? You know what I mean? I don't know, that's, that, that's just a con for me, because a lot of these things, like, the, the, um, DJI, um, drones, um, hold on, mm. So you you got the drones, right? You got the DJI Mavic, DJI Air, DJI Mini, DJI Archer, DJI Inspire, DJI FPV. So you got drones, right? And the drones need an app too. It's just like everything needs an app. And I understand why, because you want to keep the things up to date. So with with the firmware updates and stuff like that, so I understand why they need they need that. But it's like, why can't I not just turn on the drone or turn on the turn for turn on the gimbal and just turn on the gimbal, just use the gimbal and boom, bam, done. Why do I need an app, right? I don't know. That's just from that's just me, guys. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below if you agree with me or not. But yeah, so this is um it about the DGI. RS3 mini gimbal that's my opinions on it that's what I'm saying it's not a review I'm not sponsored or anything it's just I wanted to talk about it because there is I'm gonna come in with a more of a more in-depth about it when I know more when I learn more when I learn more about it I'll do a more in-depth video on it for you guys uh, let me know if you guys want to see a video of me actually using it I'll probably use my GoPro for somebody to hold my GoPro when I'm using this. And I'll just talk about it and all that stuff when I'm using it. But let me know down in the comments below if you guys like, if you guys want that. But guys, so this is Magical Day Out. Please have Magical Day wherever you guys are and whatever you guys are doing. Um, Like the video. Like the video. It helps more than you guys think. Subscribe if you guys are new. It helps more than you guys think. I love you all and I'll catch you on my next daily vlog stream, podcast, or camera video real soon.